Let me ask you a question. Do you have nightmares? I mean, are there times when you just have a bad dream, so much so that you can't go back to sleep? It's a common thing that happens in life. Some of us remember our, our dreams, others don't. But this whole idea of our mind releasing all these ideas we've stored up all day and kind of regurgitating at the end of the night. Sometimes it doesn't end well. It's full of fear. What happens when you're afraid in the middle of the night? When it's dark and you don't trust that you can go back to sleep again without that same fear coming up. Nightmares. Being scared and alone in the middle of a dark place. Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled Sleep in Peace for Friday, July 17th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Psalm chapter 21. Our devotional for the day is Sleep in Peace for Friday, July 17th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Psalm chapter 121, verses 1 through 8. Our scripture verse is, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 from the New Revised Standard Version. Our thought for the day is this, Today I will worry less and trust God more. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotional. Log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional, through both our reading, our scripture verse of the day, and their story, shares about this unique process of learning to trust in God. Not just saying you trust God, but releasing to Him your faith of saying, you can get me through this dark nightmare in my life. They share the story about a younger brother who had a nightmare, and though they tried to comfort him, they turned them over to God and said, you need to pray to God to release this. And trust that God will be there with you throughout the night. And parallel to that, they share the story of their own life when they've been through very scary things, uncertain things, things that they struggle with, and learning to have that childlike faith. Saying, like it says in Proverbs, I trust in the Lord with all my heart. I'm not going to lean on what I know or what I understand. There's a lot of things I can see, but I can't see all things. Children are like that. They can only see so far in the dark. They don't trust that beyond that door, mom and dad are still awake and watching over them and caring for them. So they have to learn to build this trust that as I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. What about you and I? Can we find peace in stressful situations, in dark times, or in the middle of nightmares, those things that naturally conflict our fears. And trust that God is the God who will be watching over us while we rise and while we sleep. That in all things, God has us in the palm of his hand. Living like that is a powerful statement of faith. Perhaps it's time to turn your heart towards that. In praying today, that God, like a child, I trust you to do the right thing, to protect me and to keep me, even when things are scary in life. Let's pray like that today. Let's close with a prayer found in our devotional. Oh God, help us to have a heart like a little child, trusting that you will show us the way through any fearful situation. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as in heaven, 
so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features, like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the Upper Room.